hi and welcome to another youtube video so in today's video we are going to be talking about the concept of cortosis in our last video we actually talked about skewness and the types of skewness you know the cortosis and the skewness are actually these two details that we can tell whenever we plot the distribution of our data set so if you need more details about the concept of skewness i would be linking a video uh in the top right hand corner and also the end of this video so you can just go check that out after watching this video so like i said earlier on today's video we're going to be focusing on cortosis so the first question you're asking yourself is what is cortosis cortosis is actually the measure of how sharp the peak of a distribution is or how heavy the tails of a distribution is uh, so the peak is actually the, the tallest part of the distribution and the tail are actually the ends of the distribution there is actually this interaction that deals with how variables actually cluster around the peak and the tails which in turn actually changes the shape of the distribution for example if we have more values at the peak of that distribution it's going to affect affect how variables in that data set are actually going to cluster around the tails and if we have more or fewer variables cluster around the tails it's going to affect uh, you know how tall the peak of the distribution is going to be so that now leads us to the types of cortosis that we have in statistics and data analysis so basically we actually have three types of cortosis we have what we call a mesocortic distribution we have what we call the leptocortic distribution and then we have what we call the platycortic distribution uh, a mesocortic distribution is synonymous to a normally distributed data meaning that we have a bell shape and uh, we have the perfect cluster of variables of the data set around the peak and the perfect cluster around the tail so it's it's not too heavy at the tails and it's not too light at the tails and it's not too tall at the peak and it's not too short at the peak it's just perfectly balanced as all things should be perfectly balanced as all things should be i mentioned something about how changing the heaviness or the lightness of the tails affects the sharpness of the peak and this is where the concept of leptocortic and mesocortic comes inside so for a leptocortic distribution it simply implies that we actually have a very sharp peak a very tall peak but we have light tails meaning we have lesser variables around the tail of the distribution and we have a very high amount of cluster of variables at a peak of the distribution thus making us have a very tall or sharp peak uh, a platycortic on the other hand is like the opposite of the leptocortic in the sense that in this case we actually have heavy tails meaning most of the variables cluster around the tail of those distribution hence uh, we are going to be having a very short um peak or we can say a very flat uh, almost or we can say we have a uh, almost a flat in this case of ours most of the variables cluster around the tail and few of the variables actually cluster around the peak so just like the way we have a number that we can use to define the skewness of a data set we also have a number that we use to quantify the cortices of a data set and in fact this number ranges between minus three and plus three for a mesocortic distribution that is in quote a normal distribution the cortices value is actually Actually equals to three for a leptocortic distribution the cortosis value is usually greater than three and for a platycortic distribution the cortosis value is always lesser than three if you go to the descriptive statistics part of your excel and uh, you know you try to get all of the necessary details regarding a simple data set or your data set that you have at hand you will see that uh, the cortosis value change based on the type of data set that you have you know sometimes it can be minus three it can be minus four it can be that 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 so by attaching a number to a cortosis value we can be able to tell how much platycortic is a distribution compared to another one or how much a leptocortic is a distribution compared to another one since the whole of parametric hypothesis test is based on the fact that we must have a normally distributed data our attention is going to be on a mesocortic distribution that is we are we want our distribution to have a cortosis value that is actually equal to 3 or very close to 3 and on the skewness part we actually want uh, our data set to have zero skewness. if you have any question for me regarding this topic or you feel like i missed something please go down to the comment section and drop those questions of your definitely i'm going to attend to them if you want to learn more about the concept of the skewness of a distribution you can actually check out this video right here yeah and we'll see you in the next one peace out